Midnight and city lights on the other side. You're calling me up at the same time. I'm in the daylight. You're calling to say hi, but your words they cry. If there's something that you need to say, I know it ain't easy living inside your brain for sure. Hello. Ah. Uh... Good morning, good evening, wherever you are watching me from. Here is a few minutes to 3 a.m. It's on a Wednesday and night, Tuesday at night. And uh, I'm so thankful to God. So wherever you are, happy to receive my happy new year. I'm so glad to be alive. I'm so glad to God that he has made me to see this day. Uh, thank you, my viewers. Uh, this is Bint Karuga. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, my viewers, for always coming and supporting me and watching my videos. I'm so thankful to God where I am at the moment. I feel so, so appreciated. Uh, whoever is new here on this channel, feel welcomed. Feel, feel, feel welcomed on this channel. Uh, today, I want to talk about what I do has been Karuga. Where do I work has been Karuga. Uh, where do I live has been Karuga. Uh, what do I expect on this new year of 2022? Uh, first of all, uh, those who are new here, uh, currently I work on the ho I work in the hospital, and. Um, I just want to, you know, a lot of people has been asking me, BT, where do you work? How much do you get? When we come to America, where do we start? How do we go about it? But anyway, we are here. So um, grab a pen, grab something and write some notes. Anyway, it's not complicated, guys. When you come here in this country, where we are, um, we most of the people they like to go through nursing field uh, they say that's where money is but is there any money there yes it's there is money but money is not everything money is not um you know um everything people there is another people people there they work every sort of work here there is so many works you can do. There are so many work that make money here. There are people who are engineers. There are people who are um, work at the bank, at the airport, all those kind of stuff. But anyway, for me, me enough, I like to talk about me enough. For me, I work at my PCA. And uh, where did I start it? How much do I make? I started, uh, when I came on this country, I started working in a nursing home. A nursing home is where we take care of um, elderly. Um, it's, it's kind of different in Kenya or in other African countries. When the, our elderly get old, we, we put them in, their, in our homes, that's where we take care of them. But here, we put them in a nursing home. That's where they live, um, and we go and visit them there. And then um, over there, I started with $9.50. Guys, that's how I started. And at uh, that time, it was um, 2006, guys. 2006, I was making $9.50, which it was okay. Not okay, but the work was a little bit and a lot but anyway you have to start somewhere you have to start somewhere then from there I went to um, I got another job but when I was doing a nursing home I was doing two jobs uh, one I will go from um, 3 to 11 3 p.m. to 11 at night uh, no 2 to 10 uh, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. then I'll have one hour from um because the other one i will go and get at 10, uh, 11 p.m to 7 in the morning so at least that one break hour from 10 to 11 i'll get time to drive 
to drive from one facility to another facility so that's how i did for some time then i got another i got a job in assisted living assisted living is where we still have the elderly but at least you they're not you know bed linen they are not in the wheelchairs they are just there like you assist them like now if you uh, you are helping them with it. You help them. You assist them in the shower, or you just remind them, "Hi, Mary. Uh, it's time to take a shower." Or, "Hi, John. It's time to go. Um, time to eat. Let's go to the to the dining, uh, to eat." So you just redirect them. You direct them. You assist them. You are not really helping them. You are just assisting them. Um, that's what I did and that's where I work for many many not many many years I just work there for seven days seven years um, but I did do quite PC work for quite a while I did uh, two years and then the rest I did um, I, I work as a medication aid medication aid is where you give medicine you give medicine to the elderly um you know they, they they take medicine they have medicine for blood pressure for assignments uh you, you know you do that kind of medicine and, and i love it i love it but remember that time from a nursing home to assisted living um the money went up so at least um uh, at assisted living i was getting ten dollars um, I started with the 1050 so it, it was quite better than it was and then I went to school and I get a certificate for for my medication aid and there I, I, at least the money went up again and uh, you know when I was leaving I was almost getting like uh, 14 dollars and some cent and then I said well um I have been working in assisted living for quite a while. It's, it's better I just try um, hospital setting to see how it goes. One, uh, two of my cousins, they were working in the hospital and they could tell me, you know what, um, just come and try um, hospital setting. You might need it, but I was not really comfortable working in the hospital, but they knew better, uh, you know, they are my role model i normally look after them they came here before me they have been working nursing field so they they know better than i do so whatever they tell me i i try to do it anyway um i went to um uh, to work in the hospital which i'm currently working now and boy it is totally a different different things here you 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 see when you work in nursing field a nursing home and then assisted living you see same people all over 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 because that's where they belong those are their homes they are not going anywhere but when you have come you, you know you work in the hospital you work there you you see different people like every two days one day you know it depends where you're working and uh, the money the money was almost the same like the one i was making in assisted living but you know over there is the money you make and there is this called differential when you work in the morning like uh, uh, the nurses they don't have any 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 um shift differential because yeah, they, they have the shift differential, but they work 12 hours. If they get their work 7 to 7 p 7 a to 7 p.m. or they work uh, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., they work 12 hours. But for us, we work, uh, we have an opportunity to work eight hours. Uh, you can work eight hours, you can 12, or you can work a shift of 12 hours, or you can work 16 hours as a PCA. So um, when I started the hospital, I was I started night shift because I, I preferred to work a night shift because during the daytime, I can come in the morning and take my daughter to school and pick her from school and then I can go to work at night. So that's what I, I, I did. And uh, and 
that's what I have been doing. So I know guys, you are asking me, uh, what time I said, I don't wanna make, don't wanna make this video for quite a while, but anyway, um, I know people are like, ah, bitch, it's just tell us how much money you make at, at the hospital. Well, when you work in the hospital, it will depend which hospital you are, uh, you are working and it depend how, um, how many years you have stayed there. So I have been there, um, I just completed five years working in the hospital setting and I'm telling you, um, well, the money is just there. I, I get not very much, but you know, because I did, I started there with a not good experience, but if you, you, you are starting new fresh like me, at least now, um, the hospital where I work now, they they just dump the money to meet the standard of other hospitals, and uh, basically now it, it's between uh, between uh, 15, 18 there. But um, when I was talking about the differential, uh, when you work at night, it's more money than the person who works three to eleven. So in the morning, they don't have any differential. Differential means you get extra money because you work three to 11 or you work 11 to seven. If you work three to 11, you get more, you get, no, if you work at night, you get more than the person who is working three to 11 because um, a lot of people, they prefer working during the morning time. So to motivate people who are working three to 11, or to motivate people who are coming to work at night instead of sleeping so they give them more money so that's how i make more money working in the hospital rather than uh working in assisted living then the other advantage is if i work um on saturday or i work on sunday they have a weekend differential hospital where i work they have weekend differential when you work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they consider that one a weekend. Remember, a lot of people they don't want, they don't like to work on weekend because weekend is time to, you know, you just like to have, um, you know, you wanna go to the party, you 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 wanna go to church. <coughs> I'm sorry. So that's how uh, they they came up with all these differentials because a lot of people they don't wanna work on weekend. Uh, they want to, you know, be home with their family. Then, um, so if you count all that money, as I told you earlier, I started working at night. But now, sometimes I work 3 to 11, sometimes I work at night. It's a depend on the schedule with my daughter. At least the hospital is better. Uh, my manager, my supervisor is good. My manager is good, sorry. And uh, I, at least I can be able to switch according to how uh, my, my daughter's schedule at school works. So that's why I keep on switching myself uh, so that I can be able to fix, uh, to, to, to uh, you know, to get to her schedule. Uh, now, when you count all that, at least you can, you know, it depends how many hours you work. If I work more evening, if I work more uh, weekends, at least you can see like at least like one hour, I can even get $18 per hour or $20 per hour. It depends. Did I work more evening? Did I work more nights? Did I work night? If you work holidays, it's still extra money. So every a kind of funny when you work in the hospital, the check comes different because it's not it's not like permanent. It's, uh, it depends which hours did you work more. If there is more holidays, it's more money. If you work uh, more nights and more weekends, it's more money. So at least I can see a big, big, big difference um of working in the hospital and working in assisted living and working in a in a nursing home so guys it depends when you work in the hospital some of the people they like to work in the hospital some of the people they don't want to face those uh you know to see um a patient who are suffering in pain 
a lot of people they don't like to see people in pain and uh, then uh, others they don't want to you know uh, work in a nursing home because they will see the same people the same people the same area and all that uh, but for me I'm, I'm comfortable I'm so patient with the elderly and I, I'm also you know I, I feel comfortable working with the patient and helping them because my heart is about helping. My heart is about, you know, my passion is to help people. My passion is to work with the people who are in need, who need help. And when I help the patient, when I help a patient and they feel better and I see them going home and uh, I, I feel that I have done something, I feel good in my heart because that's my passion. That's my part. And then when I see at my YouTube channel, when I open it, I was opening it because I had this passion of educating people about, you know, about green card. Because where I come from, from Africa, the, we come, most of us came here through the green card. And uh, some people, they don't know, have idea what is green card, what does green card means. But anyway, that's what I was about today. Today was about educating people, um, no, telling people and letting people know because I have been a couple of people who has DM me, uh, BT, what do you do? BT, um, how much money do you make on the job that you do? And I'm here. So people, the people who has been following me, they know that I am a PCA and currently I work in the hospital. So when you guys come to Texas and you want to go to a nursing field or work in a nursing field uh, and you are single and a single mother, single dad, and you want to, you know, uh, figure out what to do, where to start, how to go about it, about the case, because, well, I don't like, you know, I don't brag like I'm so happy to be single, but mostly I, I like to tell people I'm single so that whoever is coming in this country, whoever needs some help as a single parent, I, I have an experience because my daughter went to school here from that grade up to now, she is finishing high school this year. So at least I have some, um, clue or I have some ideas on how I can help you through uh, through where you can the best school you can take your kids uh, the best location you can stay when you are single and you have kids so all that information at least I can be able to help you so guys um, uh, today at least you have known who I am today you have know what I do today you have no when you work in a nursing field, uh, you work in assisted living, nursing home, or a hospital setting, or group homes, how much money you can expect. Uh, guys, this is a topic which, uh, you know, a lot of people like to know. A lot of people like to know so that they can have an idea. So guys, if you feel more, you know, you did get enough, or you want me to come back and tell you more and tell you more. Hi, I, I'm so open. I can be able to just to talk and talk and talk. So that because I want you guys to be helped. If you have a question, you comment below. I'll go through those those uh, texts and guys, I will just I'll come right back and help you out where you need some help. Otherwise, I'll go to sleep. And wherever you are, if it's morning, it's evening, um, because I have people, you know, checking me all over. So uh, have a wonderful time and uh, may God bless you. And I'll see you in the next video and uh, be blessed. Bye.